This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. I am your host, John Rettinger. This is quite obviously the show where we take a little tech rumor from here, a little tech rumor from there, and we smash them into one tech rumor show of awesome so you don't have to keep track on everything that's happened in the week. Up this week, iPad Mini 2 rumors, Xperia Z2, Galaxy Note 12.2, and Google is looking to kill cookies. Not the kind you're thinking of. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's start rounding them up. So it's not too early to start with Apple rumors, right? I mean, the iPhone just came out. It seems like we should just chill for a while, but no, the rumor mill will never ever stop churning out those delicious blocks of rumors. So, the story goes like this. The iPad mini 2 is gonna be out in space gray. Makes total sense, right? Back casings have sort of been unveiled, they've been leaked, whatever you want to call it. Nothing official from Apple, but you can see what it's going to look like. Not surprisingly, it follows the same color scheme as the iPhone 5S. You can expect a Retina display, A7 chip, and we're also hearing rumors that we might see these guys at an October 15th event, which by my calculation is coming up relatively soon. Whether or not we'll see it in gold has yet to be seen, but we have seen SIM trays that are showing up in gold, whether or not it's for an iPad mini 2 or for the next generation iPad 5. Who knows, but say goodbye to black and say hello to space gray, say goodbye to white and say hello to silver, and just say hello to champagne gold. I understand that the Xperia Z1 really isn't even out on shelves yet and just got unveiled like a few weeks ago, but hey, that doesn't stop us from talking about the Xperia Z2 and doesn't stop Sony from planning the sequel. And it looks like it might be coming sooner rather than later. According to a new report from our friends at Android Sauce, the Xperia Z2 will come equipped with a 5.5 inch, on an IGZO, IGZO display at 1080p and 540 PPI, the same Snapdragon 800 processor, which is already pretty beastly, sitting the Z1, and a 20.7 megapixel camera with Xenon flash, an upgraded RAM to three gigs, and a awesomely sized 3500 milliamp hour battery and the best part android 4.4 deliciously named kitkat however all is not set in stone an earlier spec sheet published on the asado forums claimed the device would actually sport a 5.2 inch display 1080p display at 500 ppi and a 3200 milliamp hour battery at that point arguing over what's better like cupcakes or cake they're both deliciously awesome and you can't go wrong no matter what you choose. It looks like the Z2 is gonna be pretty sweet, but the Z1 already seems kinda of awesome, so I wouldn't necessarily wait around for the Z2. If the Z1's what you want, I said go buy it, and rumors be damned. Phones are getting bigger and bigger. Why can't tablets do the same? It looks like the folks that started the gigantic phone craze are gonna steer us into that gigantic, ginormous tablet craze. Galaxy Note's getting big. 12.2, supposedly, uh, it was spotted in Bluetooth certification. So, story goes like this. Galaxy Note 12.2 is gonna support Bluetooth 4.0. I also expect it to offer pretty similar specs to just refreshed Galaxy Note 10.1, except for a little bigger screen, which means three gigs of RAM, 1.9 gigahertz octo-core processor. Crazy. A screen resolution of 2560 by 1600, and the redesigned S Pen, of course, we don't really know anything for sure until Samsung makes it official, which could come very soon. Although we did see this guy sort of get leaked by our good friend uh, EvLeaks. It's not EVLeaks, so pronounce it correctly, it's EvLeaks. So it looks like it's pretty legit. He's got an incredible track record. So I'd expect to see a ginormous tablet make its way sometime soon. So it's time to say goodbye to cookies. When Google isn't busy creating wearable technology, leading the world in browsing, developing internet capable balloons, and whatever the heck else they're up to in their Skunk Works lab, they might be trying to get rid of the dreaded cookie and I'm not talking about the delicious chocolate chip kind I like to enjoy when nobody's looking at me. Uh, Google might be developing its own alternative to HTTP cookies in an effort to improve online advertising. Of course, knew they had to make money somehow in there. According to a report from USA Today, they are citing an anonymous source, because the best sources are always anonymous. A new service is apparently called Ad ID and will gather data that the company would share with advertisers and ad sales companies after agreeing to the search giant's guidelines. Which of course no one's gonna read, it's gonna be a giant thing, you hit that box and suddenly they know more about you than probably your own mother does. Uh, if these rumors are true though, Ad ID would offer you the specific controls, even letting you block specific organizations from tracking your internet activity through updated browser settings. They also say that incognito mode is still going to be available. So it looks like the lesser of two evils you can choose 
what people are following you on and what they're not following you on. And like most of us, you probably forget about it and just let them follow you anyway. So expect way more targeted ads. So if you think about buying shoes, expect shoe advertisements to show up just right on your homepage without even typing shoes. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's something that exists already. I'd rather have more control over a bad thing than have no control over an already existing bad thing. So I guess sort of a unenthusiastic thumbs up, maybe like a thumb like, a thumb like that. But I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments in my pants region. We take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite. Carbonite Business Online Backup is automatic backup for all computers, servers, and external hard drives at your home, office, or small business. To set it up once and Carbonite will protect your computer files so that you can stay focused on just running your business. No hardware is required at all. With Carbonite, getting lost files back is super easy. Your employees can even access their files on any computer or smartphone or iPad with the free Carbonite app. For a super low flat annual fee, Carbonite keeps your business protected no matter how many computers you have or where they're located. Start your free trial, no credit card required at Carbonite.com. Enter offer code TECHNO today and you'll get two free months if you decide to buy. Again, that's Carbonite.com and the offer code for two free months is TECHNO. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up. Most definitely appreciate it. Uh, until next time, I am John Rettinger and I will see you in the next video. And if for some reason you don't see me in the next episode of Rumor Roundup, that would mean that I am a daddy. And so welcome Ashley Escada for a couple weeks doing Rumor Roundup until I get back and learn how to properly change a diaper. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the letter J. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Todd Hazelton's laugh. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the monkey dance. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Sean Sai. <sighs> What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you want to see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.